Mike is on. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, let's see. So, uh, I'm sure you're all aware that uh, Paula is in heat, so we've been trying to bring a few uh, good ties so far. So, hopefully in two months we'll have more puppies. Um, so they they will probably be born like five and a half weeks, I think I read, um, after Reese's pups, if she is pregnant, uh, which we're assuming she is. Um, so it's very exciting. Um, let's see what else. It's hard trying to think of uh, all the new stuff that has happened since last week. Um, the weather is... I think, knock on wood, starting to turn to spring. But now that I say that, it's probably gonna like do another blizzard or something before uh, spring actually hits. Um, but yesterday I had the chance to take Chaos on a nice walk. So we went, uh, actually she took me on a walk because it's Chaos, she's a queen. Um, so I was just gonna walk her down to the barn or something. Um, but she led me, you know, down the driveway, out the gate, and we went all the way to Hood Pond. Uh, ooh, I hate when I have to hear myself. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went all the way to the Hood to Hood Pond, and um, where is your brother? She's getting old. So. Hello. Jim. Oh, and Jim. I'll go get him. <laughs> She was, you know, prancing along, uh, as an old girl does. Um, she wanted to sniff everything, and then, um, then we had to, I had to pull her back here because we had feeding to do and she needed to eat dinner, but, um, she was very happy. Right, Miss Kay? Hi, Chaos. I am not uh, one of her favorite people, but she does like me. She's just used to me doing all the mean stuff like nail clipping and Advantix and such. Um, is there more? No, that's it. Hey, whoa. Um, the Home Depot thing. It's got five hundred dollars. Let's see what else. Where is that? Um. Yeah, up and place that. We don't know the. Um, dogs. Um, they're coming along. I wouldn't say that any of them are quite ready to be mashed, but we have some that are very, very close. Um, Miss Jasmine is very stubborn about her recall, so that's something that we have to work on. Um, off property recall, like I've taken her to uh, the Topfield Fairgrounds, which is close to here. Um, and her recall there is excellent, but then we get on property and she just doesn't want to go back to her kennel, which is understandable. Hi, boyfriend. Is that not a good idea? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the girl says. Hey, Jim. Jim, go lie down. Go lie down. Go lie down. Good boy. Good boy. I think that we need the kind that has the burr back here instead of her. Oh, absolutely. Rear time. Sis, okay. Some have reversible rear time. I know. There's a lot going on right now. Um, so yeah, she just needs to work on that. And basically after she has that down, um, she will be good to go. Um, some of the other ones, they just need to, we call it putting more miles on them. They need to go out more and get more confidence. Um, and then sometimes what they really need is a person. They get bored here. They only get to go out for like about an hour a day off property and then they only get to play like a couple hours a day here um so they just they like doing stuff and having a job they know that we are not their people so
so they're just like I want a purpose so I think um, Toto and Oz are dogs like that they really want a purpose um, and they'll, they'll get one um, I don't know of any plans for Chaos's birthday but we can probably get her like a little doggy cupcake or something low fat um, but it's very exciting uh, 12 for a Dane is a very big accomplishment um, so I know Bailey got to her 13th birthday so I totally expect the same for chaos um, piglet is now going by the name of Mac and yes we are aware that he does have a brother named Mac that just was kind of uh, not noticed at first when the name was picked, but he answers to it, so that is the important part, and his brother is not in the area, um, so there's not going to be any confusion there. Um, he, uh, he's gone out with some of the trainers lately, and he also loves to go running around the farm. He spent a bunch of yesterday out and about with Carlene and Jiminy, and sizzle. I tried to get up there and I think um, it's a little bit too far from and the drive. It's, mm -hmm. He's doing well. Um, yes, yeah. today I, I took, I, would try, I, I have my list right here. I took four to dogs, because um, I also had to supervise the highway, that, yeah. breeding and stuff. So I took Victor and we went to Noonan's, which is uh, a plant nurse nursery, okay. and that's one of my favorite places to go, just because it, I don't know, it just makes me happy. I walk in and I get happy. And <laughs> so it's good for the dogs, it's good for me, it works out well. Um, I took Jiminy and we went to, not Hood Pond, but a different pond. Um, and we did out of vest work. So he needs to know how to behave uh, when he's weeks, in so a service dog vest because he will be check, used with Carlene once COVID um, yeah, ends, like knock on wood. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been but he also needs to know how to behave on a leash without a vest on. Yeah. So we were working on that. And he's just a very nervous boy because he's been kept on the farm for so long. Um, just left hand turn and right hand he gets a lot of exercise, but not a lot of exposure to new things. So that's yeah. what we're trying yeah. to remedy. Uh, I took Carl to the co-op because we needed chicken food. I also picked up some nice mealworms for the chickens. Uh, that's one of their favorite things. So a nice treat for them. Um, and I took Capri and we went to a little local grocery store and we did some traffic work there as well. Um, she listens very well, except um, she's nervous, so she just needs more exposure. Um, I know, I'm sorry for all the loud voices, but it is a working farm, so this is what we do around um, what we have to do. We have to make sure that everything gets taken care of before we can cater to other people, unfortunately. Um, and also, as much as I would love to start my talk a little bit earlier, we do have to take care of the dogs, make sure everyone's settled before we can do this talk. But yeah, there's, there's not a lot <laughs> left that I know to talk about. Um, I saw that we got a very big donation of um, shavings for the Equine Rescue Network and because we house a lot of donkeys and stuff for ERN uh, we also got a bunch of shavings as well. Um, that's one of my favorite smells ever, just pine shavings. It, I don't know, it's another thing that makes me happy so I was happy to see that. Um, I also got to read um, volunteer Karen's report on unloading this big truck of uh, 1400 shavings bags and I saw that Carlene was a big help with that and it did not shock me in the least because Carlene, while she doesn't have uh, the endurance of someone my age, she has twice the strength of someone like me. I'm talking about you unloading um, the shavings <laughs> yeah. and how sometimes you don't have the endurance, but you are just brute strength. <laughs> no, I know how to handle weight. If you start it coming, you don't stop it. You keep it going and you just get it over there. And if you get your knee under it, it works even better, you know. And it's Right. There is a way. There is a way of handling weight, which is impressive, yeah. but it, it's a lot easier. <laughs> I'm gonna do it someday with a. You gotta keep the weight on the ground. My right. father used to tell me this. 
if you had to lift something, you could put it, you could put a board down here and set it on the board and pick up the board, which would be a lot easier than picking up whatever you're trying to pick up in the first place because half the weight's over there, you know? Yeah. There's all sorts of strange things like that, but keeping the weight moving, you know, just, just keep it going. It's the gravity's getting it there, you know? <laughs> I learned more about physics from Carlene than taking <laughs> college level physics. <laughs> Keep it moving. Yeah. Um, but it is five o'clock. Yes, uh, Kitty is getting close to delivering her donkey. Uh, when Dr. Brian was here a couple weeks ago, he had said like three weeks, and I think that was two weeks ago, so maybe another week and we'll have a baby donkey. Is that baby donkey coming? Uh, Brian had said two weeks ago that he thinks three weeks. So, maybe in another week. He doesn't week. have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> but is she bagged up? I haven't looked, so I'm... You'll probably want to look. Maybe tomorrow. Look at right. your list. I shall. Does she kick? No, she's a sweet one. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You're lucky. <laughs> I know. Not like maybe. The one that delivered in a snowstorm. Oh! And then I had to trudge up Donkey oh, Hill yeah. in the snow to chase oh. the baby. <laughs> well, I thought I thought we were all going to die on that one. I know. Okay. Mail call time. Yes. Oh. Okay. And I'm not even prepared. Okay. I'm here. Oh. I have been very busy. Because I said I would get a thing ready for everybody who donated over the New Year's Eve into that that thing I never thought we'd sell out, but we did. <laughs> that chicken brick. Yes. That wall. I have said I would have a, I think I actually did say a paw print for Bentley's ready for them. And I've been working on it for now two days. And I have to wait for Bentley to come back. We need more paw prints. Oh. <laughs> we haven't got enough. I yeah. think I have about 200 so far. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And uh, we're moving along on that project. And this project that I sent out, some of, the, some of the pictures. Mark is supposed to have better pictures where you can actually see. And apparently I do have one Oz is wrong. And I'm not sure whether it's because I don't have enough puppies in that litter or what, but... There's something wrong with the Oz litter. Oh. So I have to look at that before I officially do them up. Okay. And that's all I know. That's the report of my last couple days. And this morning's, this morning's Doggy Daily, I just could not cope. I had been awake an awful lot of the night. <laughs> but at any rate, the, for some reason, copy and paste, and it wouldn't paste right there, you place half on top of the thing beneath it. Oh. And then you try and separate, the, you can't separate the two. It was, uh -huh. oh. So I finally kind of wiped it out, and rearranged it a little bit, and said, that's it guys, how about it? Uh -huh. I did, I was very concerned about oh. Heidi tying, tying the kid to Riz. Yeah, I did. That know. is, you just don't really do. If you have to do something like that, you may take a wrap around something, but that can go really bad really quickly. Um, Riz is a good dog and she did it and that's fine. But you mustn't tie anything to any dog and figure you're gonna manage. A, a common problem that people do is they figure they can tie their plastic bag to the handle of their, their thing they're walking with and then they drop it. And then the dog figures that thing is chasing them and they take off and they get hit and curled and it's awful. Horses, same thing. Horses have to have, wear blinders because they're afraid of this stuff behind them because it follows them. They move, it moves. And it, it, horses have been killed. I can't tell you how many. And you will never see a horse in harness without blinders. You will see my donkeys without blinders because they're different. If they get scared, they stand still. And it's an entirely different approach to life. So the worst case you have is everybody stops, you know? Yep. They take a vote on whether they should go any further. <laughs> is he chewing on that leather? No. No, no he's Oh, he's trying to get at that. Why don't we take that off? Take, 
He's trying to get to. He's trying to get at that. Back up. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. You have to wait. Ready? We're going to make it work. Can you do this? Look at this. Can you do your thing? Oh, it's full. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we may have to do something with her. Yeah, why don't you get out of the way? Hey, Cece. Cece. We're going to have a problem. Oh. Why don't we put Cece up here with the cookies or something? Give her a couple cookies. All right. Here. here we go. Get Cece on the bed. We're over on that bed over there. It'd be even better. Okay. Capri. 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 Capri, go. Hey, go. Capri. Go. Lie down. Lie down. Spread a couple around all over the place, too. Well, we want Larky to use the yucky puppy, and she's doing it for him. <laughs> How you doing, Larky? You doing good? You doing good? The other way may be to oh, I can't. Okay, we'll just go with it. <clears throat> okay. Oh dear. Oh, she's back. I can put her in the sunroom and close the gate if. That you... might be a better idea. Yeah. Capri. Capri. Come on, Capri. Come this on. is from Judy Webster. Come on, Capri. Come on, girl. There we go. Oh. There we go, from Judy Webster in Freehold, New York. One, two, four, three, one. That's got to be not too far from Newburgh. I oh. think Newburgh is one, two, five. Oh. I wouldn't swear to it, but okay. This is for the Fun Fund. With one special request. Please have Quinn's favorite person give him a hug and a kiss for... And and three cookies in a row and a chicken brick too okay Judy Webb who where's Quinn Quinn yeah he's down in the box well he needs three cookies in a row ah. and a hug so before you leave tonight can you take care of that problem yes Okay, so that could go in the chicken brick department. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the first request we've had for Quinn, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. IPPF? I don't know what that is. Marky. Marky, this. 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 Oh, yeah. Up here. Up here. I, I don't think I can... I, I think I ought to do something about that one. Uh... Okay, our septic system was last serviced on 4 7 14. Oh. <laughs> this is the one that everybody says you're supposed to pump every year. Yeah. And everybody does. And I finally had it pumped apparently in 1914 or eight, 2014. And he said how perfect mine was and wasn't it nice and I kept up with it. Blah, blah, blah. And all I do is put Ridex in it. And I hadn't had it pumped in 30 years. <laughs> and he thought it was perfect shape. Right. So this is a reminder to put Ridex in my septic, all the septic systems around. Okay, and this is from Jan Gerhold, who mailed it on the 18th. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 
There you go. Oh, thank you, Larky. <coughs> that goes in there. <coughs> the sugar cube. Just a sugar cube of neutron star matter would weigh about 100 million tons on Earth. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Whoa. What animal is best at hitting a baseball? A bat. Bat. You got it. <laughs> uh, more energy from the sun hits the Earth every hour than the planet uses in a year. Huh. That's what we're trying to take advantage of. How okay, of I this, did all those. How much of this do you want him to eat? Uh, I don't think he's full. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's enjoying it. <clears throat> he's also not doing it quite right. No. No, he isn't. A little... I don't know how you correct that either. Other than... He sticks his nose in the wrong place. That's not the right. He turns the handle down by pushing the bottom. You yeah, know? Yeah. He's, he's not doing it right. He's it backwards. He does. Okay. This is from Stephanie and Larry Cropper. Up here, up here, up here. In Florida. Florida? Florida. Yeah. There we go. Oh, boys! We got some fire starters and things. Oh, all right. Okay. And some plastic bags. Okay. Huh. I know where I'm going to put those. I can place with those. Oh. oh, okay. There we go. Oh dear. Oh my shoulder. God damn. Oh. Service dog project. Oh shit, it is not. <laughs> An advertisement. Oh. Oh yeah. There's an important message regarding. Here's Sequoia. Um, it's running fine. Leave me alone. Okay, this is from these people. <sighs> Dear Carlene and all, enclosed is money for chicken bricks and five dollars for the fun fun. Also in the box are poo pickers with bag rolls and some fire starters. We, my husband Larry and I. So enjoy watching the cameras every day. We try and catch mail call whenever possible. Also, your mail call time online is much better than most everything on TV. <laughs> I'm glad. Keep up the good work you all do and are doing. Many thanks to all who volunteer and also support Service Dog Project with donations. Happy spring. Stephanie and Larry Cropper. That was a lot in a small box. <laughs> yes. And Labradoodle Sunny. Oh. You know, I can't catch my breath with this with this mask. Yeah. I have to have it leak a little bit. Which I know is not the uh, purpose of the mask. But breathing is critical too. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> Important. It is important. Okay. I've got to do that. Yes. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, Mr. Larky. Mr. Larky. Are you going to cover him up? I think so. Yeah. I think he actually emptied it. This, I am guessing, is probably for Bud, but. No, that's a catalog. Northern oh, Two. Oh, all right. Bud! I think he went out. Did he? Oh. Yeah. Okay, we were just talking about this. 
This is Northern Tool. That's a oh, nice outfit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's is that a hardcover catalog? Yeah. They have they have good tools and not tremendously expensive. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> you did a good job, my Outdoor friend. power equipment. I'll, I better read that later, otherwise I'll get all involved. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have. Here's another thing from Justin. Justin Case? Yep. <laughs> Uh, Larky, you're all finished. You're all gone. <laughs> all gone That's it. Wait, you wave your hand like that. It's over. Wave your hand like that. Get his attention hey. here. It's all, we're done. Okay. Sometimes you have to remind him. But that's the clue. Okay, we're all done. All right? No more. No more. I'll let the pre back out. That would be good. Okay. This is from Justin. Huh. Get out of here. Oh. No. We're all finished. Okay, so that's an empty bag. Okay. Uh, and these are... One pack... Three blankies. Those look like they might be baby blankets. These are baby blankies. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh those oh, are did cute. did you feel how soft these oh. feel? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, for the babies. <laughs> they got babies coming. Here's another one. Oh, another. Here's another one, and here's a pink one. Oh well, boy. isn't that wonderful? Thank you very much. They were lovely. Oh, those, those are perfect, yeah. Okay. They'd be their first nest. Yes. Oh, they're so soft, too. From the laundry. Yeah. Get those all washed up and ready to go. That's a nice bag, too. We'll put the bag okay. in there. Yeah. <coughs> and we have... More from Justin Case. More from Justin Case. What are you doing? Are you eating paper? Do we know who Justin Case is? No. No. Huh. Well, they, whoever it is has <laughs> been sending us lovely things lately. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> Well, there's two, we said two of these. What have they got? I don't know what they are. I don't know what they got. Oh, just paper. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can see that. Paper. Just paper. Oh, I think we got more of these. Oh. oh my. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, I bet you those are small size or medium. I bet these are bigger. Are these bigger ones? I'll put that on the floor. I see these. These are for when they're three days old. Yeah. <laughs> Those are so cute. <coughs> Our layout items for the nursery. <laughs> for the girls. Pink for the girls. <sighs> oh. I'm going to I'll put that on the floor. You get out of here. Okay, and this Great. is for the boy ones. There we go. Okay. Okay, thank you. No, you get out of there. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. For the boys Don't and the that. girls. <laughs> All right. I can just hold this up and, went, and then we'll move on that. to the two bigger boxes. Okay. I'll do this. 
We'll do this in the meantime. Ah, and we had a 20 minute tie today or something. A significant one. I've forgotten exactly the timing. But I think it was in the 20s. Certainly was over five minutes. See, I'm out of breath too. So I can't breathe. Oh. Has anybody in your outfit gotten the COV yet? No. <laughs> nope. Oh. There we go. Can you reach the that? The seal is broken. It's partially open, but. Check the contents. So okay, who's that from? Be... Get out of here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hmm? What's in there? I don't know. I don't know. Look out, we'll find out. You should be checking that out. Oh. Oh, goody. Oh, boy. Okay, we got a lot oh. of these again. Ah. Does it say where it came from? Huh? I'm still working on to keep my ear thing together. <laughs> what the crap? One of these days, we, we won't need them. Doesn't say who it's from. Huh. Fleet Farm. Fleet Farm. I don't think we've ever had anything from Fleet Farms, have we? It's a new it. name to me. You want to look at it? No, you're not supposed to eat it. Yes. It's all. all right. Perfect condition. I'm not going to open them though no. because I already got a box open. We can have that. Did you want to cover that? Go ahead. Okay. I'm not sure who it came from, so. Yeah, if anybody can tell us, that would be good. We're eating paper. Eating paper. Let's clean the house for you. All right, here we go. Uh, you're going to push it right over here, right? Yep. I'm going to load it later. Here we go. <sighs> Get out of the way. Excuse you, Capri. Can back. You Go on. Back. 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 Yeah, Sounds good, though, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Sounds yummy. <laughs> no wonder they're hanging around. No, it doesn't. It, it ain't got no name on it. Let's try putting it this way. All right. It's probably upside down. What the heck? Get your nose out of here. No, you're going to get in trouble. You being a helper? I can't help. No, you're going to eat that. You're not going to eat it. Oh, there, you're not eating it. You're not eating it. You're not enough paper. Get away. There we go. We got more cookies. All right. And this is from Fleet Farm also. Huh. Ship two. Sold two. Sold to Project Service Dog, shipped to Service Dog Project. Okay. Doesn't help. Yeah. Huh. Very nice. Appreciate yes, it. thank you. And yes. we, we did need them. No, we're not going to open them right now. Because they have to go down to the barn a little bit. I'm going to cover it. Look out. Well, cover it up. All gone. All right. I get out of breath with this damn bath. I can't breathe. Yeah, those are very. very they work. They do work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so you're coming in here, right? Yep. Bud, here's some reading material. You ready? 
Champagne? Oh boy. Oh, you got it. All right. <sighs> okay. They, they have a good outfit. I like them. Yeah, they are good. Put out a nice catalog. I never saw our hardcover catalog before. Okay. okay. All right, what do we got here? Somebody will have us at the starting point. Do, 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 do. Hello. There we go. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Sam is saying maybe Kitty needs to be put in the maternity ward just in case. Who? Kitty, the donkey that's going to deliver soon. Well, he said, what, two or three weeks? Yeah, two, and he said that two weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have to look at the bag. Yeah. He's, 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 he doesn't know. <laughs> uh, is there someone or a way to watch the dogs way on top of the puppy hill? No. No, it really doesn't. But you put the camera up there. <clears throat> they don't stay up there that long. Their play area is right down there in that sandy area. Yeah. Yeah, so they're spending more time in the sand than they will up on top of the hill. Okay. J. Hotala, stage hands axiom. Never lift what you can drag, never drag what you can roll, and never roll what you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Punky was asking about ties. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, that's good. But you covered that. Ties, yes. Yeah. I don't know when Ben will be returning, but I need him for more footprints. Yeah. I probably have a, a little over 200 footprints. That's but a lot. not enough. That was a busy day for Benny. It was. Well, he's got four feet. Well, we were doing two at a time. Were you just walking him back and forth? On no, the... they were lifting up one foot at a time. Oh, gee. And you put the, you put the ink pad under it. Yep. And then you pick up the other one, so he puts weight on the ink pad. Yep. Then you put this down and pick this up. Oh, boy. And then you make prints, prints, yep. prints, ink pad. Yep. Prints. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. What an operation. It really was something. Did you see pictures? Uh, I saw the still picture, yeah. The one picture I have. I wish I had more paper showing. Yeah. Paper's well. pretty funny. I got that one print, that red print yeah. from him. Really? But yeah. that took about 10 minutes. <laughs> Just yeah, but see, this is the whole thing. Yeah, so the long really, piece. And yeah. he's very good about it, you know, and he gets the, he got the whole process. Yeah, you know. yeah he figured it so out. So he could do 20, 20 prints in very short order. Okay, this is, when doing the tree, this is a question from Crafty. What about pups that live a few days to weeks? For example, Aria in the snail litter. Are they, I, do they I generally do? don't put them on. Okay. Uh, when are Reese's pups due? And someone's thinking April 10th. That's getting up there. Oh, it is. Oh, boy. Uh, no, it's earlier. Because I, I said I thought she ought to come here by the 1st of April. Yeah. So I would say it's due the 7th of April. Ah. I don't know. Okay. From the first tie, 7th. I don't know. Nina in Sweden is saying, Larky is a very beautiful dog. Just wanted to say. Uh, Shib, I love him, even though he acts like an immature middle schooler sometimes. That certainly is true. <laughs> uh, Suzanne, the Oz litter. Toto, Oz, Tin, Crow, Henry, and Dorothy. You think I'm going to remember that, huh? <laughs> Apparently, I haven't got it right, so I will check up on okay. it. Okay. I did make a note. That's as far as I've got. That's the only note I've had so far. Of course, you've only had uh, six letters that I sent. There's many more. Yeah. Mark is putting them out somewhere where you could read them better. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I did. I did 18 letters. Oh, that's a lot. That's of, a lot of letters. That's a lot of lot of puppies. <laughs> to try and keep litters. it straight. Yeah, forget the handle. Larky just licks them out of the yuppie puppy. He does. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Oh, Nindy Dunes, how was your day? I and didn't really do anything besides sit in there and 
work with the paw print project. Yeah, well, you've got a lot done. I did. And Indy really Jones is also saying thank you for sharing Heidi's video of super service dog Briz. Barbara in Michigan. Hi, Carlene. You are absolutely right about using weight to your advantage. Wrestlers and other athletes are trained on how to go with the motion of the weight to their advantage, whether the weight is coming or going. I grew up on a farm before anyone used automation to load the trucks for market. We quickly learned as kids how to keep the 10 and 20 pound bags moving. Yep. We had our own assembly line in motion. It was easy as long as we kept the bags of potatoes flying. Yep. <laughs> you would not dare stop the motion. Otherwise, we would feel the weight each time we had to stop and start again. That makes sense. Starting again, inertia. Yeah. Inertia of rest. Yeah. It's yeah. Tough to deal with. <laughs> and it is as far as I'm concerned. To get back in motion after spending the winter in the house. Yeah, yeah. You need the warm weather, weather I to know. do it. I uh, know. I'll get out. Oh, Lee is saying, for your information, she will be on the donkey cam each evening now watching Kitty. As long as she can see her in the stall. Uh... Yeah, well, it's true, Fernando. Whatever way Largy does it, it's working. <laughs> uh, Indy Dune says, I try to laugh when I get the warranty call about my ancient car, but now these scammers go straight to my voicemail on my cell. With no number listed on my recent calls, I waste my time listening to their message and can't block them. There's so much of that. Uh, have most of the people around Crazy Acres been vaccinated? Have you? Yeah, fully. Both? Double? Both? Yeah, yeah. Good. Second one three weeks ago, so oh, wow. I'm good to go, and I know Bud has been. And have you, you done have both, been. Bud? What's up? Have you done both both in, injections? Both uh, shots, COVID shots. Have okay. you had two? Yep, he's had two. Yes, yes. I got the second one last week. Yeah. <laughs> Betsy says, just in case, let's thank just in case for the fluffies. Yeah, we, we don't know that person by any name other than just in case. Yep. <laughs> and Indy Dunes again was great seeing the donation of shavings for the barn. Who gave that wonderful gift? The, 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 the people who made the shavings. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Who is that? Is that? I don't know. Yeah, Mark Bentley? took this. I know, it Bentley? looks like Benny. With Easter bunny ears. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. They don't mind. Cam up Jules. He is a good boy. <laughs> oh. All to right. be able to send him away with no leash, no collar. Yeah. Two people that don't know him very much and just say, just talk to him. And he's having a fine time. Yeah. And they're having a good time. Yeah. Oh, he's such When a you good. have a well trained dog, you have a good time with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, uh, I took him out one day for a ride. Yeah. In my little tiny car. I wondered if he would fit. Well, the. Rear end touched one side of the car, and his head was right up against the other, but we got him in there. I don't think I told you this. And I pulled up in Georgetown Square, where there are two lanes together, one to go straight through and the other one for a right-hand oh, turn. Yeah. I was in the right-hand turn lane to follow 97, and there was a couple in a white pickup truck, and the woman rolled the window down and said, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Bentley stuffed in the back of the, tr the car. But he was happy as could be. We should try that again and put his tail out the other window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good picture. Yeah, yeah, it would work. <laughs> yep, he had a good time. Capri and Larky figured out the way to get cookies. Oh, yes. And what's the... Oh, got this shot this well, afternoon. Well, there are the, there yeah. the other... I can see the other there. Yeah. It's not squared off, though. Okay. Because it'll be it'll be squared off well, almost what two inches between, and then the 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 nipples are going to stick out a little crooked. All right. Those nipples are still hanging down straight. 
Does that look like maybe a week? Yeah, that's not. They're not dripping yet. I don't think. Well, we'll see. But that's a good shot. Say, keep yeah. on, keep them coming. Yeah, Cam off Jules got that. Oh, Linda Gallo saying she's had her two doses, so she and Gromit will be back on April fourth. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Be good to see you again, Linda. Uh, and Gromit. <laughs> Denise, who is on tonight? Uh, Heather is on tonight, Denise. Now, what, while we're waiting to see if there are any other questions, what, what about supper? Are you hungry? No. no. I ate, really. I, I had really had two meals. You grazed today? Yeah, because I, I was up, you know. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. So about you know two o'clock in the afternoon is really I'm ready for I don't know which meal it is. Yeah. But Just I had the, I had the chicken and lima beans. Oh, there's lima beans in with it. The yeah. Honey mustard chicken. And of course he comes back tomorrow, so there'll be some new choices. Um, I did tell Karen that she had refrigerator privileges. Oh, okay. So she may come in and get meals here. Or she may take them out of the yep. tea tent. Okay. That seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, good. Do Donna cuts them in half. Oh, good idea. And puts it down yep. that way. Yep. That's good. I hope she, I hope she puts a new label on them. Or maybe she does. I don't know if oh, she does she's, that. she's good about labeling she and labels make, everything. marking everything. Well, yeah. we may, I don't know if we have any of those little labels, the little ones. Yeah. We got the great big post-it notes. Yeah. Beat on the little ones. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I'd have to look. Get, they, they go to Staples all the time to train, so I can ask somebody tomorrow to get some. Yeah, pick up the tiny ones. Uh, Fernanda's asking what happened to Quinn in the kennel. I, I don't know. Is something going on with Quinn in the kennel? <laughs> I don't know. Is he not in there, maybe? They've perhaps moved him? What happened? Something bad? Why does he need three cookies in a row? I don't know. Is Some Quinn a boy or a girl? Boy. I wonder if uh, someone can enlighten us. Is there something what happened? extraordinary going on with Quinn and in the kennel? If we look back through trainer talk. Yeah. Flip back through trainer talk. You're there. You Whoa, yeah. I went by that quickly. Little chart. Does she look like she's bagging up? Hey, wait a minute. Well, let's see that. Back. Come back to that donkey. Yeah. See, there's a donkey probably pulling a carriage or something with no blinders on. You don't oh. need blinders with a donkey. Interesting. But a horse would kill somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Uh, thank you. Sound is on. Hi, Haley. Well, there's Karen. That is from yeah. Karen, too, isn't it? Yeah, Karen, yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. I don't see anything about Quinn. I don't see anything about Quinn. Oh. Let's see if they... Okay. Somebody... What's this? Oh, uh, Fernanda's asking, Carlene, who is with Bentley, and are they friends of yours? <laughs> Jan and Chuck. I don't oh. know where they live or what their name is. <laughs> Yeah. They've been around for a long time. They've been volunteers. I was going to say they volunteer. But right? They haven't had a dog. Yeah. No, they yep. <laughs> He's the one that glued those little houses to the barn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, wherever. And last he is. Sunday they left him home with a friend of theirs. <laughs> really? And they came. And here? they came here to volunteer. Yeah. Yeah, and he, I'm sure Bentley didn't mind. No, wherever he is, I'm sure he's a perfect house guest. Yeah. Okay. The one down, walking down the road, 
is hysterical. Yes. Yeah. Two lanes. High yeah. Two, 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 two strings in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. He was on a mission. He was headed somewhere. Well, he's following the car. They must have been driving because his, his lips are flapping. Yeah, he's moving. He's moving. Yeah, he's he's moving right along. <laughs> Hopefully he wore off his toenail because most of these paw prints that I have have at least one toenail mark. Oh. Along with the paw prints. <laughs> oh, okay. It's kind of interesting. He needs a Manny Petty. Okay. Well, I don't see... Well, I'll be going down to the barn anyway, so if there's anything remarkable going on, I'll... Let us know. ...see, but... I'm wondering if he's just been moved. Okay, somebody's watching him. Carol says Quinn looks sound asleep. Is he, is he the one that's in Kennel 10? I don't know. Must be. Although there are other cameras down there that I can't don't have access to. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll be going down, so I'll take a peek and see what's happening. Ooh, big sigh. Do you think that was Bud's story? <laughs> no, I, I wondered which <laughs> dog. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like that's it for tonight. So, you ready to say goodnight? Next time you're here, I want to start that yeast and make some of that bread. Oh, boy. Okay. It doesn't take long. Do you have it, the recipe? Not much. No, yeah. I just want to make a little bit to fry. Yeah. You don't have to make great wads of it, you know, just yeah. make a little bit. Huh. All right, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> you need a little bit of sugar to make your yeast work. Yeah. Just a little bit. Huh. A little bit of oil. All right. You know? Okay. All right, well, it looks like that's all the questions for tonight, so we'll sign off, and I'll go down and see what's new in the barn. Roxy's mom says Bentley is spending his days at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've taken him to the beach. Oh, and here we go. Um, Bentley wasn't following the car. He was running back to us. We were out for a walk. Oh. So that must well, be from his host. certainly dead in the middle of the road. No, his host family. Uh, Miss Holly is saying, Carlene, the vet suggested Dasequin for our Holly. It's a joint supplement. Would you like to try a bag? No. I tell you, Bentley moves better than any dog anybody has ever seen. He's amazing. He's amazing. His joints are perfect. Yeah, he is. He's. You know, I just, I can't, I, I, I wouldn't bother giving him anything. Yeah. I'll tell you another thing that's very interesting. The two veterinarians at this massive hospital that we go to that have operated on yes, Scarlet and treated what's-her-face here yeah, both want a puppy from us. They do? Yes. Oh, yeah. They have access to everything in Massachusetts. Yeah. They like our dog. Uh-huh. Uh, right there, that picture drives me crazy a little bit. Why is that fence that way? I don't know. You that, mean this little... That, no, the point of it. Oh, this. That's where they go know. in and out. It's right there. Yeah. I don't like that. I, 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 why don't you fix that while you're down there? See if I can... Well, unfile it. Put it out of the way. Yeah, see if I can do it's that. certainly no good the way it is. I think they folks might be commenting on Quinn just because he's in there and it does look more comfortable when there's fluffies. But this he's litter... His ribs are rolling. They, they eat those fluffies, this whole litter. I they don't eat know, them. Yeah, I don't know what it well, is. Then maybe it's because he's thin. Yeah. Maybe. But I think... He, his, his hip is a little thin, too. Yeah. Well, I'll go down and feed him three cookies, probably more than that, and see what I can do with that gate, too. If he had eaten too many cookies. That he had eaten too many cookies. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go down and see what's going on. All right. You okay. all set? I'm all set. Okay. No, sir. Anything to say, bud? What's that? Anything you want to say? No, not, nope. at this, not at this juncture. Okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Next time I'll have something. Okay. Good night, everybody.